in the Battle of the Titans, we'll discuss a little bit about the difference between heat capacity versus specific heat. First thing to get out of the way are the units. Heat capacity is joules per degree Kelvin. Now, those are the units that we're going to use mostly. You could say very generally energy per degree of temperature change. This could be this could be Fahrenheit. This could be Celsius. This could be another. This could be a number of different things. There, but energy per degree of temperature change. Specific heat units. Energy per degree change in Kelvin multiplied by gram of the substance. It's important that we try to put these units in a sentence to help us understand it right there. Okay, to make something go up or down one degree we need to add or remove energy mass is not part of this right here this is very situational or an extensive property you can do the heat capacity of things without knowing its mass because you can just measure the joules the energy you added or removed and measure the temperature increased or decreased now the specific heat is an intensive property meaning it's specific to a substance <clears throat> and uh, doesn't change with that uh, another example of a something that is specific is the density okay density is an intensive property it doesn't change whether you have a teacup or a swimming pool the density of liquid water doesn't change the specific heat is the energy it takes to change one gram of water one degree Kelvin. So whether you increase or decrease the temperature of that one gram, it's going to always take that many amount of joules. Thank you.